Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends. When shareholder makes default in payment of call amount, it is called as call scenarios. When shareholder actually makes payment of call scenarios, company has right to receive interest for late payment. According to law, such interest can be up to 5% can be collected from the shareholder. If directors want, they can waive this amount of interest. Let us read question. Goldie and Company Limited issued at par 1 lakh shares of 10 each payable 3 on application 4 on allotment and balance on final call 3 on application 4 on allotment and balance on final call total amount to be received is 10 so final call will be of 3 rupees all the shares were fully subscribed and paid except a shareholder Mr. Poor having 1000 shares could not pay final call that is 3 rupees per share final call that is 3000. Mr. Poor paid call scenarios after 4 months of due date of final call. So he has subsequently paid the amount after four months so we are required to charge interest for four months on this amount of call scenarios call scenarios 3000 period four months four by 12 and rate of interest as per table a is five percent so we are required to collect 50 rupees interest on call scenarios from Mr. Poor. Record journal entries assuming that the call scenarios and interest money received from Poor in the books of Goldie and Company Limited. First entry will be for receiving application amount and second entry will be for transferring application amount to share capital account. First entry bank account debit to equity share application account 3 lakhs being application amount received on 1 lakh shares. Second entry equity share application account debit to equity share capital account 3 lakhs being application amount transferred to equity share capital account. Our next stage is allotment amount demanded by the company and all shareholders have paid that amount allotment amount is rupees 4 per share equity share allotment account debit on 1 lakh shares 4 rupees per share 4 lakhs to equity share capital account 4 lakhs being allotment amount due company has received entire amount of allotment that will be the next entry. Company has received allotment amount, bank account debit to equity share allotment account 4 lakhs. Next entry is for final call. Company demands final call rupees 3 per share. Equity share final call account debit to equity share capital account. On 1 lakh shares, 3 rupees due on final call. One of the shareholder, Mr. Poor, failed to pay final call amount on his 1000 shares. All other shareholders have paid the amount. Bank account debit 297,000. Call scenarios account debit 3000. To equity share final call account 3 lakhs being final call amount received and call scenarios recorded. Mr. Poor failed to pay 3000 
on due date of final call he has paid the amount after 4 months for this 4 months company has charged interest of 50 rupees let us record entry for receiving calls in arrears amount first bank account debit to calls in arrears account 3000 being calls in arrears amount received next entry is for receiving 50 rupees towards interest on calls in arrears bank account debit 50 rupees to interest on calls in arrears account 50 rupees being interest received for 4 months on calls in arrears amount at the rate of 5% per annum at the end of the year interest on calls in arrears which is income for the company will be transferred to profit and loss account entry will be interest on calls in arrears account debit 50 rupees to profit and loss account 50 rupees here 5% interest is charged as per table a as required in the question we have completed all the required entries as asked in the question thanks for watching this video stay tuned with ikida and subscribe to our channel ikida thank you